out of here. Well, the resident in charge on 59 West, call 133 West. Well, the resident in charge on 59 West, call 133 West. Take this one. Take it easy. Were you released? Ricardo died. Look, I'm not on any medication and I have no treatment scheduled. I can't just sit around here. You have the day off? Ricardo won me a whole bunch of money. I said to spend it good. Taxi? The Rainier Hotel, please. Marilyn over before. She's a wonderful girl. Because I knew you'd overreact. <laughs> Marilyn's been home for four months, and this is your first visit. When are you coming back? Friday, if I get the weekend off. Oh, we'll see you. Mm -hmm. We're late. They'll never let her out again. What time will you be back? Early, probably. Even Duchesne can't keep a perfect specimen like me down forever. It's just a standard poke and prod session, you know. Oh, yeah. Sure, I'm fine. What's the matter? Dr. Duchesne wants me back in the hospital next week. He told Corbell to put me on a new treatment. <laughs> Doesn't that stink? <laughs> yeah, 
Teşekkürler. They're all dead. What? After I left Duchesne, I went... I went by the ward. Not Mr. Murphy, too. No, he's practically the only one left. Well, you remember Abby and Mrs. Golden, the one with the knitting bag? Yeah. And Eileen and Terry. He was the, the one with the magazine. The one with the magazines. Remember when I was a kid, we used to swim out to the point. And when I got tired, you used to say, just put your arms around my neck and hold on. We'll get there. Daddy, I don't think I can get there. You'll get there. Just hold on, Eric. Just hold on. See you later. Yes. Linda called and said she was going to try to get smuggled in in a plastic bag. I told her I didn't think it was a very good idea. <laughs> Chief feels terrible about not being able to visit you. Good evening. We better go, man. We'll see you tomorrow, Eric. Right? How are you feeling, buddy? Oh. More yours, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> 